Hello, welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Today, another little unboxing. This one is from, I believe, Edgar Brothers. I think I know what's inside it. So let's have a quick look and see. Yes, these are the new Bushnell Fusion X 10x42 range finding binoculars, which apparently work out to one mile. Uh, anything other pertinent details wise on the box? Active sync display technology, play black display for all day visibility, um, usual sort of trade name. So we've got uh, H00, uh, sorry, HDOS optical system, high definition, quick setup button, protective rubber armor, fully multifunction, uh, sorry, multi coated optics, red black display visibility, power range scan buttons, adjustable twist up eye cups. So much of the usual stuff, active sync, but if I'm correct, these retail at £838. So, for a range finding binocular, quite good value, and it's also Bushnell's lifetime warranty on it. So, ironclad warranty. Um, technical details here are field of view is 300 feet at 91 meters, which is 91 meters, that will be at 1,000 yards, uh, or 1,000 meters perhaps. Um, no, sorry, correction, 91 meters is 100 yards, which is 300 feet, which will be at 1,000 yards. Uh, eye relief is 15 millimeters, which is always quite handy to know on binoculars, you don't want them too critical, because depending on whether you're standing or whether you're prone, you know, your eyebrows themselves can affect where you want the eye cups to be. Seven inch overall length, 180 millimeters, and a 2.5 millimeter exit pupil. Let's open them, let's see what they look like inside. So, what have we got? This looks like some kind of mounting system here. Always interesting to see what comes along and included with these things. That, what we're we looking at there? Do you know what, I'm not quite sure yet. That, oh yes, that's quarter inch tripod thread. Right, that's, that's what that is. That is a tripod mount for the binoculars. So we'll show you that in a minute. Got neoprene strap there. Nice little carry case. Nothing too fancy. I don't see the point in giving you know huge, great binocular boxes, magnetic strip closure, all this lardy dar. And to be fair, you're probably going to stick your receipt back in there. All these plastic bags, pull it up, fold it up, and put it in the loft. It's generally what I do with my stuff, um, or worse, in fact. So that's not just quite attached there. So we'll attach that at some point. So looking at the binoculars here, let's see if they've got a battery in them. They do have a battery in them. There's a nice crisp display there, actually. That's in black. So I wonder if that's, I can change that to red. I don't know. I'll read the instructions. This will be part of the full review. Now that looks like it's more than likely going to clip in probably there. I'll take that off with a screw thread. Because if you look on here, there's a screw thread there. So I suspect that is more than likely going to unclip and then that will slot through there. And it will then allow the binoculars to mount on a tripod or such. That to I like that because it's light and it's just protective, but there's no messing about with it. It's not overly complicated. There's a bushnell cleaning cloth there as well. So, the strap's only been put on on one side for some reason, but we'll see about that. So, twist up eye cups. How many positions have we got? We've got all the way down. We've got no little detents. So, all the way down, all the way up. Let's push them and see if they want to move. No, that's all right. You've got to twist them. But there's no actual... There's very slight detent, maybe about there, but it won't say it's more than slightly perceptible. If I put those halfway, let's see if they just push down. Yeah, they do just push down. So essentially, it's all the way down, all the way up. Now, with it being a range finding binocular, it will have diopter adjustment on both sides because, of course, with it having an internal screen, it's got to cope with your eyes seeing the internal screen as well as balancing in terms of the distant view before you focus. Um, interesting thing some people ask about, this is a, a single hinge design, well it's a twin bridge really because you've got hinge there and you've also got hinge at the front, that's probably the power button there, that will be the setup button, we'll do all that in the instructions and find about that in the full review. An interesting thing though some people ask that not all of us think about is which eye is the image projected into for the reticle because not everybody has full vision in both eyes. So pressing the button, closing my left eye, leaving my right eye open, Yes, this one is in the right hand tube, which it gives the display. And from first opinions, first impressions, we've got a battery display, a central aiming reticle, and just looking through it, it's got a yard read out there, which I presume I'll be able to swap to meters. It seems to have a clinometer in it to check the angle. And there's another display at the bottom. 
So, I'll find the instruction book, which looks like it's there and there. Let's see what else we can find out. Um, yes, £838. It looks like these have been on, uh, on a display counter somewhere to show. Pop those back there. So let me just see what it says here. Ah, Bushnell Range Finding Binocular English. Thank you for your new Bushnell Range Finding Binoculars. Blah, 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 blah. Compliance statement, laser statement. Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty much compliance statements for different countries, different markets. And then here we have got adjust the center focus wheel binocular to focus both barrels for distance, the right diopter to focus the display, use the left diopter to bring the right eye into clear focus. Uh, I do that in a different order, but you probably heard that from me before. Uh, press the power button and use the right dots to make sure the display is clear, correct? Red black display for all day visibility. Now if you remember, I just said when I looked through it, the display is in black. And as I say, I thought you might be able to swap that to red. And this diagram here does actually show you can display it in red. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here now. So if we look at that, we've got the display function there. And that shows us how we can swap from red to black for day versus poor light conditions. So there aren't really any instructions with it. I'm sure we'll see as we go along. There's probably a reference to an online instruction or something like that. I do find an instruction book quite nice, but we shall see. In terms of the actual body of the binoculars, there's, uh, there's a rubber arbor armored finish. I would say recession on the lenses is about six or seven millimeters in terms of protecting them from being bashed. It's a textured finish, we've got rubber on the armour at the sides and those fit quite nicely in the hands. It's clearly got, you know, adjustable interpupillary distance there, which will set up for you. And of course, as I described, you've got the uh, eyepiece, also the eye relief set up on that. So focusing, let's just feel what the focus wheel feels like. It's a single wheel in the centre, you can use either your first or second finger, either left or right handed, it's no great downside to using either and yes first impressions are very good for an 838 pound binocular with a laser range finding capability so anyway we've had a look at the quick look at the uh, Bushnell Fusion X straight out the box we've seen what accessories come with them I can't quite figure out how that's supposed to connect and nothing's really obvious to me it looks like I think that might screw out of the back of the binoculars but I don't want to force anything but there does appear to be a sort of mechanical a mechanical fastening under here. So I might just put some, some, some rubber grips against that and just see if that twists and it's just tight because it's from assembly and a fashion. But we'll still see. That looks like the battery compartment is in there. CR2 battery, pretty usual kind of thing for uh, a binocular range finder. So where does this tripod mount go? Let's have a little look and see if we can see under the back here maybe. Anything, anything. It's always interesting to see how intuitively things are made and designed because that isn't necessarily looking particularly obvious as to where it goes. And because it doesn't actually mention it in the instructions, what are we to do? Because I don't have any instructions. I'm just assessing exactly what it is that these do. There's obviously some kind of locking function there, and that would allow you to probably pivot the binoculars and then lock them in position. But how do we actually fasten it on? Well, without breaking anything, nothing is really peeking out at me here. Normally, these kind of things will go in the front there, like that, so that you can, you know, tilt and tip them and, and they'll work perfectly well. But nothing is, there's no instructions, 
nothing else with the binoculars. Uh -oh, what's that? Oh, that's that card. We've got some Allen keys, which maybe do something for those, but no, I'm, I'm a little flummoxed on that one. So, anyway. Just as a little addendum to that video, you can probably see now, I've got a pair of rubber glove, well, a rubber glove, and a pair of mole grips. Yes, I was correct. The Bushnell Fusion cap on the back does come off. It was just very tight from manufacturing, obviously. So, generally speaking, that's going to go back on by hand afterwards. And we're going to nip that up finger tight. There's a slight rubberized washer in there, I think, which kind of locks it in place. But anyway, I'll nip it back off because what we can now do, which we should have been able to do easily without further investigation though, is that that will go on here and will screw hopefully in the front. Although actually now we've done that, is that a completely different thread entirely? Is that going to slot out of there? Oh, well, it looks like my little experiment and my adventure with these um, binoculars continues because that is standard quarter inch uh, UNC tripod camera gear type thread. That is not, that is just the thread for that. So it would appear that that is not the way we attach it. Well, um, I shall forward that question to the Bushnell representatives in both the UK and Europe and see if I can get an answer on how this, which was in the box, is supposed to make it work and you know what I suspect I suspect that that has got put in the box and it may not even have supposed to ever been there but we shall see anyway no damage is done we have just used cautious mechanical intervention let's call it that cautious mechanical intervention that almost sounds like we know what we're doing doesn't it all those years at university really did pay off after all anyway right I'm just going to do that a tiny little bit tighter, just so that it lines back up where it was before. Might even do this off camera, but there we go. Right, thanks for watching, bye for now. That's why you should never make unboxing videos, because things jump out to surprise you. But you know what, if it was your Christmas day and you just opened those, who knows what you'd think either. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Anyway. Thank you for watching, please like, please subscribe, please comment, because I'm going to do a full review on these hopefully if uh, everything works out. And your comments are what keep driving me to make videos, so thanks for watching, bye for now.